In your health news tonight, really for a common chronic progressive disease, we're talking about acid reflux. It's a minimally invasive surgical procedure for late stage acid reflux. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta has more on how patients benefit. Jocelyn. And Darren, heartburn can signal the start of acid reflux, but if left undiagnosed and not treated, acid reflux disease can potentially lead to cancer. Thomas Barrett battled acid reflux for seven years. It's a horrifying feeling to have it. It just lodges in your throat. It literally gags you to death. Medication was no longer working well for him. They just thought it was a simple little bit of acid reflexing going on. Turned out he had a severe case after years of the acid from his stomach moving up into the esophagus. The problem here is that this valve is not working anymore because it's been exposed to acid for so long. Dr. Ken Schwartz is part of a multidisciplinary team approach to acid reflux disease at Midstate Medical Center. He says once that process starts, it can be tough to slow it down. It can progress to precancerous lesions called Barrett's esophagus, and then it, from there it can progress to esophageal cancer. Lucky for Thomas, Dr. Schwartz caught it in time with a minimally invasive surgical fix called fundoplication. It tightens up the weakened valve in the lower esophagus. Basically what I did is took the top of the stomach, wrapped it around the back of the esophagus, sewed it to itself. For patients with a partially functioning valve, there is now a flexible magnetic bracelet designed to prevent the stomach acid from leaking. Meantime, the prognosis for Thomas? His prognosis is he'll never have to deal with this again. I'm drinking wine. I, I, all the stuff I wasn't able to do, I am doing now. Dr. Schwartz says that most patients have complete relief and are off medication, while others see a significant decrease in the amount of medication they take. For more information, head on over to our website, WTNH.com.